time for a poorly produced video just to get this out in time right before I get the chance to go to bed. What's up everyone, it's Q from RetroQ Gaming and yes, Microsoft have just finished their, well, we'll call it um, a press conference from Gamescom. I wasn't expecting it to be as big and as comprehensive as it actually was. But just for the sake of everyone out there, I'm not really going to focus on that stuff. Not the complete side of it anyway. I will mention one or two things about it. But the big focus on this video is, of course, the Xbox One X. So yes, Microsoft did officially announce when Xbox One X pre-orders have gone live, as they promised. And they're live right now, so that's pretty good. They're officially live right now. Granted, I've had mine pre-ordered for over a year because, lol, GameStop Ireland. But the point is that, from officially at least, from right now, Xbox One X pre-orders are now live. So on top of all of that as well, I want to talk about the alleged Project Scorpio Limited Edition Xbox One X. It's true, it's real, it exists, it's basically everything we know already about it is pretty much it. It says Project Scorpio on the front of it in Xbox Green. It has the Xbox Green... Project Scorpio logo down the center of the controller, and we found out a tiny little bit more about the the actual the exterior of the console. Remember, I said it was like a, a black stipled, or I never know that word. I said it previously in the, the other video, but I got it wrong there too. And it was it's basically that. But what they've done is they showed it off much better. And in the Project Scorpio edition, it now goes from a straight up deep black it kind of fades into a, a, a gradiented grey, which is, it's kind of cool for some people. Personally, I would have preferred the the weird feel of the, the stipling or whatever it's called, as well as just a straight up dark deep black with a little bit of the, the Xbox green on there too. Also, if you get the Project Scorpio edition, you do get a vertical stand. I don't care. I don't know if anyone cares about that, but it comes included in that one. It was the way it was described. It's kind of unconfirmed if the vertical stand comes with the regular version, but it definitely comes with the Project Scorpio edition. So that's pretty much it for the Xbox One X side of it, or at least the Xbox One X Project Scorpio side of it. I will talk a little bit more about some of the other stuff they they did in and talked about in relation to Xbox One X during the actual presentation. For example, they had one of the guys from Ubisoft in there as well. He was talking about Assassin's Creed Origins, which kind of made me laugh, not because it looks like a bad game, which it does because I don't like Ubisoft, but my big point was the presenters, there was AC Bongos, uh, you know, we all know AC Bongos, and I can't remember the English girl, and I can't remember the German girl with an extremely sexy accent, but the point is, during... The interview with the Assassin's Creed devs, they actually brought up, it's like, oh, now with the power of the Xbox One X, you don't have to make any compromises. You don't have to pick one thing or the other. It improves gameplay. And I just cringed so hard because they're, they're trying so much to defend the Xbox One X and its whole power situation and to draw attention away from the uncompromised experience that they promised and will not deliver away from the true 4K, which way they are trying to move away from and deliver, well, they will deliver on it in some cases, but it's going to be nowhere near what they touted. The same way with their whole 60 frames per second everywhere. It's just not going to happen, and they're moving away from that, so it's kind of funny. Now, having said that, before we get any further into the video, I think the power of the Xbox One X for a console is very good. I don't doubt, I don't lambast anyone or I don't look down on anyone buying on an, an Xbox One X to play it as their most powerful console. But for Microsoft it, to have come out and say all, you know, they've been touting it for over a year at this point, uncompromised, true 4K, 60 frames per second, and the fanboys who defend that stuff, that's where I come off on and that's why I come and look uh, look down on it a little bit hard when it when it comes to that side of it. And even though this part isn't really specifically about Xbox One X, I just want to throw it in there because it's a little bit funny on the, the flip side as well. With the whole lack of exclusive games and whatnot for Xbox this year, they brought up some whole player unknowns, uh, player unknowns Battlegrounds. I always call it Player Unknown Battlegrounds for some reason, but apparently it's unknowns. Apparently it's like a... Not, not plural, it's the uh, possessive version of the word. But the point is that they showed off a new trailer, they went into a whole publishing deal about it and all, but they threw in the word exclusive. 
which I always thought was funny because the game is already out on PC for the last couple of months. Anyway, moving back on, they went on to talk about the Xbox One X and the increased power and all of it. They brought out a list of first-party games that would be supported by Microsoft Studios and Microsoft first-party games that would be taking advantage of the Xbox One X and getting these 4K upgrades and 4K power boosts and whatever. And they started rattling off a list of games. They Now, having said that, they did specifically mention a true 4K patch for these games. Now, God knows how that's going to work, because we all know what true 4K and uncompromised and 60 frames per second mean to Microsoft. But in this list, they threw off stuff like Gears of War 4, Forza Horizon 3, Minecraft, Killer Instinct, Halo Wars 2, Halo 5, and for some absolutely unknown and bizarre reason, Quantum Break. Yeah. Yeah, I know, enough said. Which is kind of kind of annoys me in particular because I replayed Quantum Break a few weeks ago. And yeah, still had that stuck achievement that won't unlock, but it would have been nice to play it on a on Xbox One X, I suppose, maybe get a little bit of better graphics, a little bit of better performance. So on top of all of that, they also went into a couple of third party games when they were talking about games that would receive free 4... Oh, I should mention, actually, all the, the first-party games we listed already, free 4K updates, of course. And they went back and started talking about some of the third-party games that would be getting these Xbox One X enhanced support patches. They didn't obviously say if all games would be native 4K or true 4K or whatever, because that'll obviously be confirmed by the developers much later. But they, they have confirmed that certain games like... FIFA 18, Star Wars Battlefront 2, Player Unknown's Battlegrounds, NBA 2K18, Wolfenstein 2, Mordor is it Mordor Shadows of War? Whatever that Shadow of War game is, the the Lord of the Rings one, that one, that's gonna have Xbox One X enhanced support. Titanfall 2 and Fallout 4, that's right, existing already released games will be going back and getting patches for them. Having said that as well, they also announced a big list of over 100 games that would have Xbox One enhanced support. And these were all confirmed by the developers and they put that list out as it is at the moment. Now, having said all that, I have this list in front of me. So, let's try fire through this list of over 100 games as quick as possible in one take. Okay, let's go. A Plague Tale Innocence, Anthem, Ark Survival Evolved on Xbox Game Preview, Ashen, Assassin's Creed Origins, Astroneer? Astroneer? It's not Astronomer, but let's call it Astroneer on the Xbox Game Preview program. Battle Right, Below, Black Desert Online, Brawl Out, Chess Ultra, Code Vein, Conan Exiles, Crackdown 3 if it ever releases, Danger Zone, Dark and Light, Darksiders 3, Dead Rising 4, hopefully the Xbox One X can actually make it a good game, not fucking happening. Dead Rock, Gala Dead Rock Galactic, uh, they should have called it Galaxy or some shit. Deep Rock Galactic, wow I can't, I can't read. Diablo 3, Reaper of Souls, Ultimate Evil Edition, Dishonored 2, Dishonored, Debt of the Outsider, no idea what that one is. Disney Adventures, Dovetail Games, Euro Fishing, Dragon Ball Fighter Z, Dynasty Warriors 9, EA Sports FIFA 18, Elex... Elite Dangerous, Everspace, F1 2017, Fable Fortune, Fallout 4, Farming Simulator 17, Fa Final Fantasy 15, Firewatch, For Honor, Forza Horizon 3, Forza Motorsport 7, Gears of War 4, Gravel, Halo 5 Guardians, Halo Wars 2, Hand of Fate 2, Hello Neighbor, Hitman, oh, that sounds weird, Hello Neighbor, Hitman, they're two different games, Hello Neighbor and Hitman. Homefront, The Revolution, Injustice 2, Jurassic Park, Killer Instinct, Killing Floor 2, Kingdom Come Deliverance, Life is Strange, Before the Storm, Madden NFL 18, Mafia 3, Mantis Burn Racing, Metal Gear Survive, LOL, Metro Exodus, Middle Earth Shadow of War, that's the name of the game, I couldn't remember it originally, Microsoft, Microsoft, Minecraft Xbox One Edition, Minion Masters, Monster Hunter World, which is nice to hear, but I'll still probably buy it on PC, NBA 2K18, Need for Speed Payback, Ooblets, Ori and the Will of the Wisp, Outcast, Second Contact, Outcast, I don't know what Outcast is, Outlast 2, Paladins, Pad of Exile, Pixar Rush, Player Unknown's Battlegrounds, Portal Knights, Pro Evolution Soccer 2018, Project Cars 2, Quantum Break, Raiders of the Broken Planet, Railway Empire, Real Farm Simulator 2017, ReCore, Resident Evil 7, Biohazard, Rhyme, Roblox, yeah, Rhyme and Roblox are two different games, I just said it really weird. Robocraft Infinity, Rocket League, Sea of Thieves, Slime Rancher, Smite, Sonic Forces, Star Wars Battlefront, wait, Star Wars 2 Battlefront is the way this is listed. I'm pretty sure the game is called Star Wars Battlefront 2. Anyway, State of Decay 2, Steep, Strange Brigade, Strange Brigade, 
Super Lucky's Tale, Super Hot, Surviving Mars, Tennis World Tour, The Artful Escape, The Crew 2, The Darwin Project, The Elder Scrolls Online Morrowind, The Elder Scrolls 5 Skyrim Special Edition, The Long Night, The Long Dark, or The Last Night, The Long Night, God damn it, The Last Night, The Long Dark, The Surge, The Witcher 3, Wild Hunt, Titanfall 2, Tom Clancy's Ghost Recon Wildlands, Tom Clancy's The Division, Train Sim World, TT Isle of Man, Right on the Edge, Warframe, Warhammer, End of Time, End Times, Vermintide, We Happy Few, Wolfenstein 2, The New Colossus, World of Tanks, WRC 7 FIA World Rally Championship, and Zoo Tycoon. Now that is an awful, awful bit of production on my side of it for this video, but still... You get the, the idea of the list. I'll also have a link to that big list in the description below so you can check it out at your own leisure without me rattling it off as poor and as quickly as possible with no breath whatsoever just because. So that's the main thing anyway. They also did, uh, there's one or two other things I want to just quickly talk about but it's basically uh, not important things. When it comes to Xbox One X, they want to make transferring over from Xbox One or Xbox One S to as as a painless and seamless as an experience as possible. So what they are going to allow you to do is they're actually going to allow you to download 4K updates and 4K patches and whatever in advance on your current Xbox One and Xbox One S so that when you do go to transfer them over, you don't have to download the 4K patches or you don't have to download the 4K content or whatever it is on the new actual Xbox One X, which I think is pretty good. I think that that's pretty uh, a pretty damn good idea and so that they're going to allow you to transfer games over and they're going to allow you to do it over your own network so it'll go as pretty quick well at least as quick as possible as quick as realistically possible on there as well so that's pretty nice granted i don't have a huge amount of stuff on my xbox one or well actually i do now that i think about it but Overall, it shouldn't take too long. Hell, I might even just re-download some of it just for the sake of it. We'll see how it goes. But the point is that for some people, it's going to be nice and handy. For others that don't have much installed on their console, it's not going to make much of a big difference. Now, there's also one last thing I want to touch about here because it's just another kind of Microsoft sweeping under the rug kind of almost fail. Microsoft announced a cool-looking Minecraft 1TB Xbox One S. Not an Xbox One X but an Xbox One S. Now, it looks like it's like a combination of all the the Minecraft style blocks. You've got your redstone, you've got your dirt, you've got your grass. And yeah, it, it's it's pretty nice looking, especially because it's going to be a huge seller for kids and people who like Minecraft. Now, here's where it gets a little bit weird. They actually went out and said on record on the stream, it's the first ever console with transparent casing. Now, that's a bit of a fail because, one, it only has semi-transparent casing because if you look at the bottom of it, the only part of the casing that is actually transparent is the bottom. You can see through the bottom and there's all redstone and all inside of it to let it look like that. So, um, Microsoft, I want to tell you about this, this brand new, hot new console that I know you may not have ever heard of because... You know, it's it's upcoming and it's new and it's it's current and it's hot. But there's this console, home console, called a Nintendo 64 that has multiple different colors of transparent textures. In fact, even your first console, the OG original Xbox 180, had a variant that was transparent. Granted, the original... OG Xbox, the first models weren't like that, they were just black with the green on it, but I believe it was the Halo 2 model that was transparent green. Bit of a fail on that, that front if you ask me. Anyway, that's it, I've talked about more stuff than I actually wanted to talk about in this video. Let me know in the comment section below, are you going to pre-order an Xbox One X? Has anything in the stream completely blew your mind or destroyed you or you know were you hyped for it or whatever personally i'm going to call gamestop first thing in the morning uh well not call them but i'm going to drop in on my way down because i gotta go down now first thing and i'm going to see what the deal is with the project scorpio edition i'm just going to transfer over because well i've had my pre-order in there for fucking forever at this point so i'll get that transferred over i'll get my myself one of those project scorpio limited editions and yeah that's it let me know if you're going to pre-order one if any of this 
has piqued your interest or whatever it is. There's not really much to say about this when um, the stream or anything because realistically the best thing is Xbox One X. Actually, now that I think about it, are you looking forward to 4K patches or Xbox One X patches for any of the games in that list? So let me know all of that in the comment section below. Hit the like button, hit the subscribe button. Thank you for watching and see you in the rest of the videos in my channel.